I have a question about the emo thing though, because I, I feel like you're really kind of going against the grain being the twinkle daddy in the yeah. UFC. Yeah. I feel like butt rock is really the official soundtrack of MMA. Oh, um, 100%. Uh, can, can you talk to Dana and maybe try to bring back taste the pain? What was taste the pain? Was that, you know, the, <laughs> yes that's the one yeah that's yes. the one yeah and the and the bear witness to the fitness of the modern oh. warrior yeah dude so that one is that one's a classic you know what else people forget too often in my opinion is the old wec intro that was like this the tribal tattoo spiraling yes. out what that one was like that was like that that is one of those things that's like the you know like when you see the um the youth, the, the like the TikToks and like the Instagram videos are like, it's like the PS2, like in Bruno, the PS2, yeah, like, yeah. like, it's like also on a bigger <laughs> scale. It's like, dude, I'm fucking getting old because kids are now romanticizing the things that I did as a kid. And, yeah. and it's, and then, and it's so You're funny. Like, that wasn't cool. That sucked. We only <laughs> did it because we didn't have anything better. Dude, you, and the crazy thing is, you're like, you're like, not only it's like you kids are romanticizing things that I actually did as a kid. And now you've got me saying things like you kids and you've got me <laughs> and, and you've got me doing the old guy thing where you're like, I was there. It wasn't it, that sucks. Right. 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 I, I never trade. You think, well, you think smash bros is cool on a GameCube? No, it's fucking cool on a switch. You right. fucking, it's like, you think, you think PS2, you think, you think fucking P, yeah, the PS2 was fucking rad. Then you got a PS5. Five years ago. Yeah, what do you shut up, dude? What are you talking about? The Dreamcast wasn't that cool, man. Like you got PS5s, you got fucking, you got Netflix. You know what you have, you, you know what you just have to do? You just have to go to a stack of DVDs. Right. Either you didn't own that many and you had to rewatch a bunch of movies, or you owned a shitload and you had to keep them somewhere. Like the idea of having CD racks and shit. And then when you what or or and then, like, if a girl came over, you had to pick a movie and put a movie in and watch a movie. Like, you guys have Netflix. You guys have PlayStation 5s. Shut up with all this fucking 90s. Like, the 90s were really cool in some ways, but they were also, like... How much would you have given to have Pornhub in the 90s? That's all I'm saying. Dude. dude when, I, when I... The first time I ever... I remember a guy... I was probably sixth grade. I was probably eleven. I went over to uh, one of my one of my buddies' house, sixth grade, and he had smuggled like a Victoria's Secret catalog that is that had like gone in the mail to his mom, and he'd stolen it and kept it like in a drawer, right. in the, so he could beat off to it. Dude, you guys have four <laughs> of. We had to steal magazines, dude. J C Penny catalog. Dude, we had to jack off to magazines that we stole from places. You guys have porn up. I don't want to see another TikTok about like I was born in the wrong generation. Like, dude, number one, it wasn't like it wasn't as cool as you're making it. Num like number two, you wouldn't survive because you cry about everything. You guys right, like that's this, true. This is the next step of being like the 30-year-old guy. And it, it's 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 part of looking at people and accepting them for who they are and communicating with them the way you want. But this generation, it's not all bad. It, there's, there's, no, no. there's a certain, there's a certain emotional maturity that kids have today that I don't think we had then. Yes. But the trade-off is they're way less tough. And I don't want to sound like yeah. a cliche. I don't want to sound like a cliche boomer, but like. It's true. But I mean, my, I'm a lot less tough than my grandpa. My grandpa flew a fucking B-17 over Germany and dropped yeah. fucking bombs on Europe. I'm a lot less yeah. fucking tough than he was. That's for sure. Yeah. 100%. I'm also a lot nicer than he is. Exactly. Exactly. That's a trade off. And I'm not saying that me and you and our generation is the sweet spot or whatever. Yeah. But I'm, I'm saying like bullying people mercilessly their entire life in the 50s was not like people to be black or gay yeah, being black or gay or like fucking or just like not like just skinny like whatever reason right. they, like anything yeah any, like it didn't matter you're just like bullying people mercilessly and like um, <laughs> right. negatively like real violent bullying in the Dude, fucking, even in the 80s when i was a kid like the punchline to every teen movie was like he's gay ha 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 yeah <laughs> you're just a gay, like, you're just some poor closeted gay kid who just like wanted to go see 
Breakfast Club or whatever movies. Right. And, and you're like, like yeah, ha ha, this movie is hilarious. You're like, yeah, what are those guys? Ugh, right? right? Aren't they the worst? <laughs> it's like those poor kids had to live through that. But the generations were way tougher. Like ours, ours in a way kind of was was a sweet spot because we're not as tough as our grandparents, but we have enough emotional maturity to understand the next generation. Yeah. But like, but like I'll give you an example. So my little sister who I, I, I had talked about before, like both my little sisters, I, I adore, but I have, a, I have a little sister who's five years younger than me. And so we're about the same generation and she's a fucking warlord. Like you, she doesn't like her feelings. Don't get hurt, dude. She'll fucking, right. she's, He's like, she's a Samoan girl. Like, she'll fucking punch you. She doesn't give a fuck. She's a warlord. But my little sister is- I bet she's got a good chin, too. Oh, dude, she'll fucking- (laughs) Godspeed, dude. Go ahead and fox her. Have fun. Uh, She's tough. Um, When we were like five, when we were like, I was like 10, she was like five. We were fighting over the remote. And I think she wanted to watch Nickelodeon, but I wanted to watch Cartoon Network. And she climbed up on a fucking rocking chair with a- umbrella 